Dashed. Hey. Yo, peace, everyone. This is MC Till, and I'm talking about beats again. This album right here is Runaway Slave by Showbiz and AG. And then over here, we got the Dirty Version by AG. So I want to talk a little bit about Showbiz. He's one of my favorite producers of all time. Uh, he had a great influence uh, on the on my production style, particularly uh, the jazzy samples that he would sometimes use and the drums. He has a, a great ability of creating really full drums that are interesting to listen to. They're layered really well. And so we'll get into that in just a moment. So first, uh, Showbiz and AG, Runaway Slave. Really like this album. Uh, pretty much all the beats stand out to me on this album. There's a few that I really, really like. Uh, bounce to this. And maybe it's because Drez is on that song. But I really like that beat, uh, The Bounce to This. And 40 Acres and My Props, which has a very jazzy sample. But then he has these drums that are, are you know, kind of rough, rugged. And so, like, he mixes this, like, smooth jazziness with these drums. It has, like, a, just a really cool feel. And so I really like when he does that. And his drums, uh, I mentioned this just a second ago, they're layered just right. So his drums, even though they, they might have an interesting, you know, pattern to them, they're never too busy. There's not too much going on. He leaves room for the MC to shine and the beats just, just feel good and they fit right. So an example, if you listen to this album, which isn't my favorite album uh, from AG, but it's not a bad album either. But if you listen to this album, listen to all the beats, and then when you get to about, uh, I think it's track 15, uh, the name is Drop It Heavy, and Showbiz produced this joint. When you get to this beat, you will hear a difference. The drums just sound more full. They, there's a crisp, crispness to them. They're crisp, but they're also raw. So there's just some, something about Showbiz's beats, uh, drums, that he, he just figures something out about drums. And I just always loved his drum. So a great influence and inspiration for me production-wise. Curious to know if you've heard this album, Runaway Slave, if you've heard the dirty version, and what you think about Showbiz's production overall. Let me know. And as always, let's have a conversation. All right, y'all. Peace. Next. Hey.